welcome to Salive Risking with Dr. Irene. Today I'm talking about are your hormones making you crazy? Now, you might think, oh, what's, what's that got to do with salubrious skin, Irene? What's uh, my hormones making me crazy got to do with my skin? And the reality is, is that our hormones impact every single cell of our body. And I can't tell you how many times I hear my patients say, I don't feel like myself. And, and they kind of sound a little bit fearful and sad because it's that unknown, you know, what, why am I not feeling myself? I don't think I've done anything different. I just feel this overwhelming um, change in me and I, and I don't know what to do. I, I feel like I'm out of control. And so with that comes a cascading of other events. And so really important, I thought, for me to talk about and share with you what that actually is, what's actually happening in your body from one perspective, and on the other perspective, what you can do about it. Because it's not simply me saying, oh, don't worry, it's all normal, but what can you do? And that's, that's really what's important about this episode is, is giving you solutions to this issue. So what, what um, you need to first understand is that the body is in constant state of communicating. And it communicates with us through symptoms and signs. So whether it's a physical symptom or sign or whether it's an emotional whether it's a feeling whether it's it's something unexplainable all this is providing insight into areas of imbalance in our body there's a disharmony in our body for some reason and for this reason we need to take these insights pretty serious and with respect to simply say oh gosh i'm feeling all nuts let me just you know um, go to the doctor and take some Prozac or Effexor or, or something else, it, it, it's probably a little bit, um, you know, dangerous in a way to do that because it's going to come out from another, from another way. So first ask yourself, how long have you been feeling like this? You know, when is it occurring? Am I finding a, a regularity to it? Am I reacting to something? Is it something I'm reacting to? Is it the same thing that I'm reacting to or is it different? Do I feel that my reaction is un unnecessary or do I feel like it's warranted? All these questions help you identify where um, it could be coming from. And if you go see a Chinese medicine practitioner such as myself, you, all this information is actually really useful in identifying where the imbalances are and what needs to be rectified to get um, you feeling a lot happier and healthier. So first of all, it's important to understand that the hormones are part of the endocrine system. So the endocrine system is the pituitary gland, the hypothalamus, the pineal gland, thyroid, thymus, pancreas, adrenals, and of course our ovaries or testes, depends if we're a woman or a man. All these glands and organs are in constant state of communication with each other. So if one area becomes deficient for whatever reason, that is going to impact on other glands or organs. So when we, when we, don't necessarily feel ourselves or we notice a change, this imbalance can affect various states of our health. So for instance, in women having PMS, premenstrual syndrome, it's very common to have emotional changes, breast soreness or distension fullness in the breast, bloating, irregular bowel motions, so constipation or loose stools, headaches um, and acne. So this can be around the period or it can even start from ovulation and continue the two weeks before the period. So it depends on the intensity of uh, PMS people have. That can vary. Some people just feel like this a few days before their period or some people feel like that two weeks before. Now, another hormonal imbalance is irregular bleeding. So spotting mid-cycle, very heavy bleeding or flooding, scanty flow, so not much of a flow, um, periods that are missed, short cycles, long cycles, uh, all sorts of irregular bleeding can be an indication of a hormonal imbalance. The other thing is emotional changes. So most commonly, the emotions experienced from hormonal imbalances are depression, feeling flat, unmotivated, 
sad and teary, stressed, very easily stressed, that feeling of inability to cope with various circumstances, uh, irritable and angry. Now, the natural physiological change to hormonal um, changes is menopausal syndrome. So, well, menopause rather is a natural physiological stage. Uh, menopausal syndrome uh, presents when there's a hormone imbalance during this time. So, to simply give someone HRT is probably not the best approach because it's the natural progression of a woman to enter menopause and having a depletion in hormones. It's natural. It has to happen. But when this transition doesn't happen smoothly, so there's hot sensation, sweats, um, depression, feeling of isolation, feeling cold, feeling hot, all these sort of things, that means that there's an imbalance there that needs to be rectified. Now, when we're talking about reproductive health issues, hormonal imbalances can lead to PCOS, endometriosis, uterine fibroids, and infertility. So that's just a small example of, of what hormonal imbalances can cause. There are a lot more, but they're the most common. So what would cause an hormone imbalance? There's quite a few. And the most common I see is probably uh, excessive stress and the contraceptive pill. They're the two most common. Um, genetics obviously play a part as well. Uh, exposure to environmental pollutants and toxins. And this could be through your environment, through skincare and makeup and personal care products and cleaning products. So toxins can be absorbed into our body from various elements. Um, pregnancy and puberty, obviously changes in hormones. The body doesn't adjust to it as, as efficiently. And so um, there's a little bit of an imbalance. Chinese medicine can come in and fine tune that imbalance and get that transition happening um, quicker. So obviously postpartum we're talking about and puberty. Uh, now diet has a, a huge impact on our emotions and our hormones. So refined foods, excessive sugars, stimulants, caffeine is, is a big one, and alcohol, they are a huge impact on our hormones and specifically because of the cortisol uh, and, um, sorry, the insulin. Insulin is a hormone. And so insulin will actually um, uh, be released a lot more as a result of so many carbohydrates. So that's usually... Uh, a precipitating factor there. Shift work or irregular sleeping patterns, you must be sleeping before 11. So be in bed 10 to 10.30, really, really important. So I would suggest that, um, obviously if you're a shift, you shift worker, you, you can't, but if you've just got sleeping issues, then uh, I would certainly work towards getting to sleep early. A lot of people, um, it's very common to have your second wind, so to speak, at 11 p.m. because that is when the gallbladder meridian comes into play and starts metabolizing fats. So you start having more energy. So really, really important for you to be asleep by 11 o'clock. So best, latest, I would say 10, if not 10.30, very, very latest. Now, long days, working really hard, a lot of stress, um, not having enough r and &R can actually uh, cause an imbalance in hormones. And uh, recreational and prescription medications can cause an imbalance and also excessive exercising. That certainly is a massive one for hormone imbalance as well. And that's the cortisol impact, excess cortisol from a lot of sweat, um, exercising. And as a result, your hormones can get um, displaced. Okay, so what can be done to regulate your hormones? Well, the great news is that Chinese medicine is a, is a fantastic way to address this. It's, it's, it's very important, I think, to have respect for the body. And the endocrine system is complex, but, but super intelligent. I always love the clear symptoms and signs it gives people to help them identify where the issues lie. Based on this complexity, I would encourage you to see a natural health practitioner because simply doing it on your own is actually possibly going to cause more damage than benefit. So they will look at, um, uh, well, 
I would encourage you to find someone who's experienced in functional medicine and, and the endocrine system. So what they look is at the adrenals and, and obviously the hormones and, and the glands. Uh, in Chinese medicine, we typically look at regulating the liver, kidneys and digestive system. And most importantly, we look at the health of the adrenals and the thyroid as these glands are, are instrumental in hormonal regulation and are quite easily affected with long-term stress or poor lifestyle factors. So treating uh, the hormonal imbalances come um, from the perspective of utilising uh, acupuncture and Chinese herbal medicine, as well as providing dietary advice and maybe supplementation, depends on individual circumstances, uh, to restore the body to optimal health and alleviate the symptoms and signs that have presented. It's also important to understand that everything our body shows us is to help us bring our awareness around something that needs our attention. So your body is always on your site. And even if you feel let down due to health issues that are consuming you, I personally have experienced and wholeheartedly believe that what may appear as a burden now will be highlighted as a blessing in the future. So in most circumstances, we take our experiences or our challenges and create changes in our life to be a better version of ourselves and for those around us. So a good place to start is by keeping a journal of how you're feeling, how your symptoms are, and, and this will provide uh, huge amounts of information for your practitioner, which will take all this and, and collate a treatment protocol for you to get you back on the road of better health. So that it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You don't have to live like this. It's certainly important for you to understand that you can um, make changes and you'll feel a lot better. So that's it for today. A nice quick uh, episode for you to really highlight the importance of hormonal regulation. And sometimes, you know, like, anything like cars we tune up our cars we sometimes we need a little bit of um tuning up with uh, some acupuncture needles and <laughs> herbal medicine uh and you know you you feel fine and then there's no there's no issues and you can you know, get on with your life so really important to utilize these tools that you have available to you we're very lucky that um we live in a, a world where we we have this available and we don't have to necessarily feel like this uh, for years and years so take advantage of it and, and get yourself feeling great again and you know bouncing out of bed and loving life as you should be so um, if you have any questions please forward them to info at salubre.com.au and if there's anything you want me to talk about in future episodes feel free to let me know and check out our website at www.salubre.com.au and uh, I'll leave you for now and um, hope you have a lovely day and I'll catch you on the next episode of Salubrious Skin with Dr. Irene.